today's video, we are going to go through the three steps that both myself and hundreds of our students have taken to land high paying tech jobs. So now for me specifically, this is something that allowed me to go from about $48,000 coming out of college to over $300,000 before I was 25 years old. So a couple of things just uh, to lay the groundwork here. The things that I'm going to walk through are going to be helpful for you, whether you are trying to land that first $50,000 job, a $100,000 job, 200, 300, even beyond. These are going to be steps that you can adjust to you and your stage or your season of life. So first and foremost, right now, I'm gonna speak mostly about $300,000 jobs. Most of them are not posted. They're especially not posted on LinkedIn right now. Um, most of the times they're not even posted anywhere. Sometimes it isn't even a role. Very often people, uh, companies will make a role when they find a candidate who can add value. So these are the three steps that you can take to present yourself as that candidate who can add enough value to be worth $300,000 to a company. So step one, this is something that it sounds a little woo woo and everybody underestimates the importance of, but I cannot overemphasize how important this one is. You wanna be completely clear on what we call your career nirvana. This means knowing what is the best career path for you, what is the best role that is going to support you, your strengths, and your aspirations in life. Not only your financial aspirations, but your lifestyle, your impact, the mission that you feel like you were really put here to do. That is going to be step one, because we need to know what actually inspires you, what is actually going to motivate you without draining all of your energy at the end of the day, what is going to motivate you to actually work and want to work and be creative in the time that you are not working where to the point where it won't even feel like work. These are the things that if you skip this step and you don't take time to actually speak with a mentor or do some soul searching, whatever the case may be, if you skip it, that is when you will typically land a job that is just soul sucking. It sucks the energy out of you and you will end up either sabotaging your professional life, which means you won't land high paying jobs, or you typically will end up sacrificing your health or your relationships, which essentially makes the $300,000 plus worthless. Because if you don't have those things, it's not usually a great life. So step one, complete clarity on the actual career path and the actual exact job role that is going to be the best fit for you and your strengths and your goals in life. Then step two, once you have that, you want to make it I'm reading from my notes over here so I don't miss anything. Uh, you want to make it really clear to the marketplace, to companies, to potential people that you, who you would just be interacting with. You want to make it really clear what role you are a great fit for and market yourself for that role at all times. So this super simple way to do this or the easiest way to market yourself is to have a resume and LinkedIn profile that is just perfectly tailored to this one specific role. It's very important that it is narrowed down to one role. Um, and this is even more so important when you're going for those $300,000 roles right now because there is so much talent on the market right now. Companies get to be really picky about who it is they're choosing. So if you are, especially for whatever reason, a lot of people are going after product roles right now. If you are not presenting yourself when somebody does a quick you know, check on you, if you're not presenting yourself as a world-class product manager, they're probably not even going to want to have a conversation with you. So very important step of that process. Now, step three, once you've got that groundwork, that is very fundamental groundwork, you can't skip either of those steps. Step three, you're, when you're going for these roles, it is very rare that you are going to apply and get an interview for these roles. That is a big myth that we need to bust for a lot of our students that come through. Most of these roles, if not all of them, are going to come from concise or valuable outreach messages to the right individuals. These are not people that you need to know because you know they're part of your dad's country club or anything like this. This can be completely cold. Oftentimes for myself, it was definitely all cold. For most of our students, it is usually very cold outreach. And this is where um, a talented introverts or just overly humble people tend to struggle because it's like, well, how, what am I supposed to say without bragging about myself to get somebody to even want to talk to me? So I'm going to give you guys three of my favorite examples, favorite meaning the ones that convert the best for how to reach out to hiring managers, C-level executives, or founders of startups with value added outreach. So 
Number one is actually a new one that one of our students just was testing and worked really well for him is a very simple short message. This is the shortest, this is the least amount of work that you can do. And it's gonna get a little bit trickier as we go through each of the three. So message number one, hey, saw you're hiring for this customer success role. Uh, here's three reasons why I think I can make an impact right away. I grew a travel community from zero to $5 million in annual recurring revenue in 4,000 plus members, expanded the ambassador program from five to 30 ambassadors, and I'm passionate about building my daughter's university for, of the future. Is it worth a conversation? That's it. So all you're hiring for this role, here's three reasons why I think I'd make an impact. Is it worth a conversation? Done. It can be that simple. Great response rate from that. Now message two is a longer one. This is one I've shared in the past where you can just say, uh, this is just an example of a project manager role. As a project manager, you are most likely not gonna be making 300,000, but you can take this and grow it to program product. Obviously just the variables in here are gonna change. Where it's just, hi, CEO or hiring manager, executive, whoever it may be. I was doing some research on the project manager role you have at this company. Looks like you're searching for someone who has experience mul managing multiple projects simultaneously while cross-functionally managing sales, engineering, design, and finance departments. And it seems like the budgets you're working with range from about 7.7 .7 million to about 12.5 uh, million. Throughout my career, I've managed multiple projects simultaneously with budgets that exceeded 25 million. And I've had to work cross-functionally with executives, stakeholders, design, engineering, and finance. So along the way, I've had to do quite a bit of executive alignment. Luckily, what I've learned from these experiences has allowed me to deliver 97% of the projects that I've worked on ahead of schedule and under budget. I'd love to walk you through how I've been able to help companies achieve these results and see if there's some opportunities for us to potentially work together. Do you have a time to talk at one of the times below? Give them three options. This one is a longer version that is essentially the same, the same thing as that really short one that I read first. That is one that works really well, especially right now because most people are just terrified and they're just quantifiably, like it's a quantity game for most people where there's not any focus on quality. They're just applying to as many jobs as possible, messaging as many people as possible saying, hey, I need a job without adding any value or showing that they even took the time to look at what the company needs and how they would potentially be a good fit to solve the problems that the company is hiring for. So that is the second outreach message that you can use. And now this third strategy, the third outreach strategy, now this is exactly what I use to go from 48,000 to 300,000 over the course of three years, um, actually it's probably closer to two years by the time I started doing this, was I just gave incredible over the top value. And now I have done this multiple times to land multiple contract roles and I have yet to be rejected from a company that I did this. So I'm not saying that that will be true of you. It has to be, you have to make sure that you are valuable and actually providing value and is a very time intensive. So I would say, use this, uh, here's your caution sign. <laughs> use this with warning. Results aren't typical or whatever the jargon usually is there. So what I did was I made, I, I was in marketing roles in the beginning. So I made a marketing calendar that somebody could easily follow. A calendar with all of, I've had 10 promotional strategies with examples of each of the promotional strategies. So I made 10 pieces of content and then I plotted on a 12 month calendar. Here's how and when I would use these throughout the months and quarters. I shared, so I shared the cadence, the scheduling for each of those 10 strategies. I shared the software stack that I would use to deploy each of those strategies. And I gave really clear KPI on what I expected the cost per click, cost per lead, cost per call, cost per acquisition to be. In this case, it was for a coaching company. Um, so what I thought it would be based on industry standards that I had learned. Now at this point in my life, I had no actual life experience doing these things, but I had paid and invested in mentors. And I shared this with the companies to say, hey, I've never done this. Here's what I've learned. Here's like, I showed them how hungry I was. And I showed, gave them actual Facebook. I wrote an actual Facebook ad, created the creative and created a mock landing page for them. And I gave that to them. Now, this is how I landed multiple roles. And at the time they were contract roles. So I had multiple $300,000 plus roles that I was managing at any one time. I thought it was normal, just again, thanks to mentors in my life. I thought I was a real entrepreneur at the time, quite frankly, but I really just had about eight full-time jobs that I was figuring out how to do because, and I would land them very easily using this strategy. So if you are, especially if you're in a business development role of some sort, 
this is a really great strategy for you to use and to prove that you are hungry and you want to add value and you really care about the company. So hopefully that helps somebody. If you guys have any follow-up questions on this, if there's anything that you guys need added insights on, feel free to just send us a message or an email and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk soon.